All right, a little bit of a design change on a water table. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna include video in the final uh, piece here on that aluminum one I made. Or actually, maybe I, I am going to have to because I'm pretty sure that might be at the end of, yeah, I think it's in the end of the second video. So we're changing it up. And instead I'm gonna be making it out of steel and we'll put a coat of paint on it to mitigate corrosion corrosion issues but um i'm gonna make it three inches deep and then we're gonna put some angle in there that's got slots um cut into them for two inch slats so the two inch slats will come up equal to the top of the three inches three inch sidewall it's gonna be on there so that's not gonna work since that was already I went with two inches because I thought that was going to work and also because it fit with what piece of aluminum I had. So redo it here in uh, steel, three inches deep. And the interior dimensions of this table, the clearance is uh, 50 inches this way and 32 inches this way. So we're going to make it uh, 49 inches by 31 inches which once it's centered up, will leave a half inch gap all the way around. And uh, we'll cut this piece of steel now. Got this welded up, it's welded and grounded. Uh, came out all right, just to be on the safe side. Uh, just smeared some RTV in the corners, just in case there were some pinholes in there. <laughs> some added insurance. Uh, these sides actually got screwed up because the way they were bent. Um, was like with the 90 in there if that makes any sense like so when this is flat you'd have a little square cut out of the corner three inches by three inches right because a three inch flap has to fold up this way and a three inch flap has to fold up this way to make that corner but for some reason when i went over to my buddy's shop uh and used his finger brake i figured I could put this just one slit in a three inch piece, pre-bend that up to a 90. Then when this is bent, you could bend that and you'd have an inside piece, then bend that up, it would meet it, and then you would just weld down the seam so the actual corner itself would already be secured more or less. Well, he doesn't have, he has a finger break, but it's not the kind like where you can't you can't go in and do a full, it's not like a press break where you have enough clearance that you could do a full 90 with that piece already being there. And I don't know, I just wasn't thinking it was 8.30 at night and it was getting dark out and his, he actually leaves his break outside the shop, believe it or not. But um, So when it went to bend it, it pushed it in and it bent the side piece all to hell. So same thing on this side, obviously, because, you know, whole side of the pan was bent together so being the pack rat i am i had these little pieces that were left over from when i bought the prime weld tig welder they package them up really good in the box and one of the things they give you is they give you these little corner pieces down in the box so that 
the box doesn't crush in. And as luck would have it, they were exactly the right size. So I used two of them to weld it up and kind of make up for the big mess of it that was made. So this side's a lot uglier, but it's okay. Same thing, I welded that piece in, uh, RTV'd it for added assurance. So it's good to go. All right, I cut these little half inch, I don't even remember if I bothered recording it, but cut these little half inch rods, half inch diameter rods, just to locate the table inside here, right? Well, because of the break that I used over my buddies not being set up the right way, I think it just needs to get tuned. Probably hasn't been set up or reconfigured and. 20 something years but um because of that it didn't make a real sharp radius in the bends where you know a finger break like that should make a, a pretty sharp 90 degree bend in uh the 16 gauge steel but it didn't so my point is is that i actually had to cut those two out of here because the dimension ended up being greater this way and, and obviously this way, but this way doesn't seem to matter quite as much. Um, and that kind of gave us, it was too tight to squeeze it down in there. So remove those rods, those spacers. But for right now, I don't think it really matters too much. So um, got the slat holders tacked in, which is all they're going to get. All right, I didn't fill it up to the very top. Um, it needs to be leveled a little bit. I don't know if that's just the adjustment I have on the wheels or my garage is probably not perfectly level either, but that's about a half an inch, more or less all the way around from the, from the very top. But it is high enough that it goes completely over to slat holders. This is me after only two beers. <laughs> 